What's going on, y'all? Not the real Will Smith. And another how-to. If you guys remember in some older videos, this is actually Jasmine's 2012 Kia Forte. Uh, I believe it's a 2.0 liter. And um, last time she's done a spark plug change or a tune-up was never. So I'm out here to do it for her. It's Christmas time, so I'm doing it on my own expense. Um, great friend of mine. Uh, so I'm actually gonna go back a little bit so that you guys understand what I did. Obviously popped up the hood. When you first open it, it's gonna look like this, right? All you have to do, someone cracked it from previously, I guess working under the hood, but um, all you have to do is, there are little rivets or whatever. You just pop it off like this, boom, literally take it off. One, two, um, and these are two rivets right here. Once you take this off, boom, you're gonna see your coil packs, which are these, one, two, three, four. You're gonna see these connections that are on here like this, which gives the coil packs the power to spark, start the car, you know. And, whoops. And when they're actually on, I wanna show you guys carefully, this little, these little metal brackets are here. So in order for this to come off, the little electric um, wiring, you have to pull this, if I can actually get to zoom in, you have to actually pull that out. Ooh. Hold on. I want you guys to see exactly what I'm talking about. There you go. So yeah, you just pull it out like that. Boom, pull it up. That, and then you just wiggle this off. And it comes off like that, right? Boom. Once you do that, get your 10 millimeter socket and you're gonna take your screws out for the coil packs. I already broke this one loose. So I'm pull it out like this. Oops. Screw somewhere safe. Uh, actually take this wiring off too and then this actually should come out you got to wiggle it back and forth and then your coil pack is out right this vehicle is old jasmine isn't really too worried about it um i know the coil packs are working because it doesn't have a um it's not misfiring or anything like that it's just erratic kind of power surges seems pretty clean that's under well yeah so let me get the extension. I'll show you guys what to do next. So got all the coil packs out and I want to show you guys something. I don't know if you guys can see it well, um, but uh, you actually cannot see it well. But whenever you guys, there's, there's a good one. Whenever you guys look in here, you see the spark plugs. Whenever it looks clean like that, it's a little bit of like dirt, but like there's no oil in there. Then you know that these cylinders are good. You know they're good. But this one has some oil in it. You can kind of see a little bit of the moisture, a little sparkliness in there. Uh, that's how you know that you need a seal at the top of the engine. Um, what is that seal called? I forgot. <laughs> uh, but this one is good. So it looks like it's cylinder three, um, where it's leaking a little bit of oil in there on the spark plug, which could mess it up, honestly. Um, still gonna replace them, but I know that she needs to get um, the seal replaced you guys probably know what it is but that's not what this video is about i just have a brain fart right now but it'll be a good time to do it as well all right so the next thing we're going to do is got our extension and these spark plugs take a specific there we go 16 millimeter you guys can't really see it well Hold on. There we go. Is that better or worse? So the socket takes a 16 millimeter SP. You can actually put this on an extension because it actually has a rubber boot in there that holds the socket in place once it comes out of the engine. All right, that's Clifford. We'll talk about that in another video. I'm gonna put it on an extension here. that and we're going to put it in the cylinder we'll make sure it actually goes down in place first 
should drop down just like that. And you want to not use a lot of pressure, just a little bit to break it. I mean, it's two hands, but it's... There we go. That's right that. We're just going to do this until the socket fully takes out the spark plugs. Oops, I don't need this anymore. Lefty Lucy, righty tighty. We actually put in UGK iridium spark plugs. It's good for Korean, um, Japanese vehicles. Um, I would probably go a step higher with these in my Toyota, but for you know daily use, rather daily driver, the Jasmine, she's fine with these. It's about ten dollars a piece, four of them. About forty dollars plus tax, and that maybe forty-five dollars. You can do your spark plug replacement by yourself with the proper tools. Right, so that's the old spark plug. It's not terrible. Um, they do look like they cheap ones, so. But you can honestly use Denso or NGK. Um, I was told these are iridium. Um, they're not too bad though. Oh, I lied. So <laughs> the little metal piece right here should be a little longer. I'm gonna show you guys a new one to compare. There we go. You guys look real close. See how much longer this metal piece is right here. A little sparkly thing right there. And then you look at this one right here. It's kind of burnt off at the edge. So it definitely is time for her to have some new ones. Drop it on in and then reverse the process, okay? So what I did off camera, guys, I put uh, this little, looks like this gray goo stuff on there. It's called um, anti-seize, just right here. Because the old spark plugs kind of, they're a little rough getting out. And I didn't want to break an engine. It's worst case. So you put this anti-seize on there. So next time that these need to come out, you're good to go. But it's important to put on the threads. The threads. Where you see these lines at? And nowhere else. Nowhere else. Then you just put it back in the vehicle. Engine. And you're going about your business. Just got to bolt it down and it'll be good to go. All right, guys. So all four spark plugs are out. These are three on this side and one over here. I realized that cylinder three and four going towards the right of the engine had oil in both of them. And the seal that goes around the engine is called a valve cover gasket. Once you replace that and you put new spark plugs in the engine, um, you won't have the leakage happening on the spark plugs anymore. Um, I did it to my Toyota and Jasmine's car is gonna need it too. Um, but it requires you to take out these bolts. Three, four, they go all around the vehicle and this whole part comes off this valve cover and the gasket is underneath. Um, and that will fix your issues because if you don't replace your valve cover gasket and you put new spark plugs in, the oil is still going to seep through and they eventually can foil um, the spark plugs, causing them not to run as efficiently, right? So, I recommend, I recommend that people do spark plug replacements or uh, what do you call it? tune-ups once a year especially if you drive your car as a daily driver so all right that's like so i was gonna keep it short and simple guys put everything back together you'll be all set just do it in reverse order appreciate you guys make sure you guys like and subscribe and tr underscore will smith and you guys take care wrench every day like tavar says <laughs> bye